Hello and welcome to the CSCART video tutorial. My name is Sergey and today we are going to speak about payment methods. Let's roll! Payment methods are located in administration payment methods. This is how the payment methods page look like. Here you can change the language of the page, change the position of the payment methods, just drag and drop them, edit them, delete, activate or deactivate them and of course add new payment methods. Now let me show you how the payment methods page looks on the storefront. And this is the billing options page at the checkout. Here they have two categories for now. I'll explain uh, how it works later. Credit card and other payment methods. So. First of all, I would like to show you how to change the order of uh, payment methods. Let's go back to the payment methods page and just drag and drop them. Done. And after that, phone ordering became the first method and check payment became the second. Now let's speak about method settings. As an example, I'm going to use the credit card payment method. Okay, uh, here is the name, I think that's clear. Processor, uh, I need to explain that. Processor is a script that exchanges information between store and uh, payment system. Generally speaking, there are two types of processors. Offline processor, uh, for example, phone ordering, check payments, I don't know, maybe some receipts and uh, online processors. Amazon checkout, what else? PayPal and other services. There are lots of them. For example, if you want to create PayPal payment method, you need to choose PayPal Express Checkout, for example, as a processor. After that, you go to the Configure panel, Configure tab, enter your username and password in the PayPal Express Checkout system. Here you, you've got an instruction what to do, so you won't get lost. Choose PayPal authentication method as a certificate or to use a signature, certificate file name, signature and other options. You fill them all and after that your processor is set and your payment method is ready for work. Okay, mm, let's go back to our credit card. Well, I think that's clear about online processors and online payment methods. Uh, by the way, one more thing about them. You can add online processors with add-ins. For example, all PayPal processors will edit the uh, PayPal payments add-in. Here you can also change some of the settings, if you wish. Look through the settings carefully and uh, set them up according to your needs. Now let's go back to the payment methods page. Here we go. And I started uh, to speak about template. When you choose offline processor, you will be able to choose a template. Uh, for example, credit card has its own credit card template. If you choose phone ordering, there will be special phone template. Uh, to make things short, the template determines how your payment method will look at the checkout page. So, as you can see, when you choose phone ordering, there will be this description and uh, this tip. And if we change the template, the look of our payment method will also change. For example, for phone ordering, I decided to choose credit card template. Let's see the difference. Well, we go to the checkout page, refresh it, 
And now we have credit card template for the phone ordering payment method. So as you can see, uh, there is a specific uh, template for the check payment, a specific template for the phone ordering, as I have already shown you, and a specific template for the credit card. Well, okay, let's continue. Next here is payment category. There are three categories in syscard. Uh, credit card, internet payments and other payment options. For now we use only two categories. Credit card and other payment options. Uh, for example, if you set up a PayPal payment method, you can choose internet payments. Okay, uh, and uh, let me show you one thing. Here we have credit card. Here we have credit card two and credit card. I forgot to save here. Save. Done. Now let's go back to the checkout. Let's refresh the page. Uh, and now there are no categories on the page. They are all in one column. That can be useful sometimes when sometimes you just don't need to divide your payment methods into different groups. For example, you have only internet payments and uh, why would you need any other category? All right, let's go back. The next setting here is the user group. Okay, I think that's clear. You can make some payments to be available for the specific user groups only. For example, you can create VIP group and make um, check payments available for the VIPs only. Let's move on. Description. This is the text that is uh, written under the title. Here, take a look. This is the title and this is the description. Here you can enter some useful information about the payment method or maybe some tips. It's up to you. Surcharge. Surcharge helps to increase the popularity of a certain payment methods and saves money on the bank surcharges. Uh, for example, if you want to increase the popularity of phone ordering and check ordering, you can just make a 5% surcharge on the credit card. And after that, some of your customers may think whether they should uh, choose credit card and pay 5% more or they can choose phone ordering or check payment and don't pay that surcharge. That's how you can juggle the payment methods. Okay, let me show how it looks like on the checkout page. Okay, credit card surcharge. There you go. Payment surcharge 5%, $26. And now Another thing related to the surcharge, surcharge title. Instead of the uh, payment surcharge, you can enter something like bank commission. Because I guess you need, you need to explain why do you take this surcharge? Bank commission. Okay, clear. Next. Taxes. Taxes that are applied to this payment method. Payment instructions. Speaking about the difference between description and payment instructions. Here you leave some short descriptions or maybe some tip about your payment method. And here you give a full payment instructions from beginning to end for example four four step procedure step one oh step one and after that you write 
what uh, the customer sh should do at the step 1, at the step 2, and so on. The full payment procedure description. Okay? And the last one here is the icon. You can um, upload an icon for your payment method from the local source, from the server, and enter the URL. Oh, by the way, uh, speaking about pictures, you can also add a picture to a payment instruction or insert a video if you... Okay, icon. For example, for the credit card payment method, you can add Visa and MasterCard image. Oh, you can add it here if you wish. Let me show you. Okay. Let's upload it to the file editor. Insert. That's how it will look like. Now let's save the changes. And let's go to the checkout page. Here we go. Let's refresh the page. Here we go. Two pictures. The first one is the icon of the payment method. There it is. And the second one is the picture in the description. Now if I choose phone ordering, this picture will disappear and this one will stay. Don't forget that you can even that you can add even videos in your description. For example, you can add video instruction for the payment method. It will make things much more easier for your customers. That was the last setting. That's all that I wanted to tell you about payment methods. To sum it up, there are two payment methods processors in CS Card, offline and online. With offline processor, you can choose a template for your payment method. And in order to set up online processor, read the processor specific instructions provided on the configure tab. And while your online payment methods are being prepared, you can use offline payment methods. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CS Card video tutorials.